Done Canadian rules here. Headlock by Jimmy Blaze on Sean Paul Levesque. Levesque takes a shoulder block. Blaze with the cover. Only a near fall. Boy, this match almost ended before it began. Two arm drags. Boy, he knocked him out of his Canadian boots almost with that one. Upper wrist lock, but, but Levesque fought out of it, makes the tag to the Iron Man, Cody Kelly. But Cody gets arm dragged for his troubles. But you gotta figure that the team of Psychedelic Incorporated and the Road Dog wanna end this one quickly because if this one goes too long, the strength in numbers may play out for the Canadian hit squad and friends. Double Russian leg sweep by Psychedelic Inc. You know, Ricky, the experience is definitely with Psychedelic Inc. and the Road Dog. What do you have to say about that? That's definitely, but the Canadian Hit Squad have such a chemistry. They've been with each other for a while now here in the UWE. And they are a force to be reckoned with here in the UWE. There's a reason why he was called one half of the New Age Outlaws, a member of Degeneration X. A very successful unit uh, right now. Oh, taken to the corner, but he gets out of there. Rex Hart gets Irish whipped into the ropes. Road Dog goes for a hip toss, has to duck the clothesline. Rex Hart back to the corner. Quick tag, there comes Levesque. Levesque back in at the road. I say that for anyone to understand that. Really, the road dog needs no introduction. But they introduced Levesque to the boots of Jimmy Blaze and Electric Eric Freedom. A hard chop from Jimmy Blaze onto Levesque. That chop radiated throughout this gymnasium, even through the hockey jerseys. There's a fifth man on the outside managing the hit squad. Could he be a factor? Back body drop by Levesque. Hammering away at Jimmy Blaze is Levesque. This man has been in a few tussles before. Now, Ricky Yamamoto, tell me if I'm wrong. Are the UWE tag team titles on the line? You know what? All the this crowd is going electric, pardon the pun. I do believe the UWE tag team titles are still up for grabs, but we'll need a clarification on the rules. The only thing we know is it is a Canadian rules match. It's true, could that be another factor psyching out their opponents, pardon the pun again. Are they making them up as they go along? I don't know. Either that or it's been a really long, devious master plan in between shows and Gladwin. Double elbow drop. Here comes the big man. Attempted elbow. That would have caved in the chest of Jimmy Blaze. He's struggling to make the tag. It almost caved in the ring. But here comes the hardcore hippie, Electric Eric Freedom. He's calling for the heavy if he shake. Can he pull it off on the big man, the champion of the UWE? No, he reverses it. Oh no, Rex going for, oh! And the Road Dog, especially when they got Electric Eric Freedom down with the double clothesline. Can you hear the fans, Yamamoto? They are behind Eric Freedom, the Road Dog, and Jimmy Blaze. They definitely wanna see 
their favorite wrestlers come out on top tonight. Look, the and numbers. Ten. Oh my God, we need, we need at least two referees in this matchup. Poor Pee Wee Perella done such a good job tonight, but he has no choice but to keep the road dog and Jimmy Blaze out of the ring. We need a whole army of referees just to watch the Canadian Hit Squad. The Canadian Hit Squad, not above using questionable tactics, but it, they are very successful here in the UWE, holding all the gold. Backbreaker by Lebec. He's just punished. He's a man that knows the ring very well. But how can it, it, it's almost like a four on one advantage and you got another manager outside the ring. I don't like the odds for Electric Garrett Freedom. You have a point there, Yamamoto. It doesn't fare well for Eric Freedom. Holy cow, look like he almost broke the arm there. Now the gentleman in with the cover, but only a two count. While well, the gentleman did hook the leg, that cover was a little sloppy, but right there, bringing in psychotic Jimmy Blaze, and we know his temper is on high boiling point right now. The hit squad cheating in the ring, and they're cheating outside the ring. And Electric Air Freedom fighting back. He has to fight fire with fire. Right now going, to the oh! Just barely off there. The gentleman back on the throat of Eric Frieda. Oh no, this is like dead man zone. He's dragged into a corner with four men. Tags in the Iron Man. Iron Man using the ring to his advantage. Bouncing Eric Freedom's head off the turnbuckle. Shotgun Irish whip, big splash. And I think the ring moved a little bit on that one. It up. But the Canadian hit squad, I can't believe they distracted Pee Wee Perella. And right there, pull him back into the corner. That's not a good place to be. Now, gentlemen, looks like he's going for an Irish whip. Once again, on that back. Why don't they just finish it? Cover him. Kick to a lower area, Eric Freedom fighting back, jumping DDT. The hit squad, a very dangerous team. But here comes the road dog. And he's laying in to the whole hit squad. Cleaning house with fisticuffs on the whole Canadian hit squad. The road dog cleaning house and now showing Gentleman John Campbell, why he is one of the greatest members of the greatest tag teams ever. But right there, the, all the hit squad are coming in. Oh my gosh, now Psychedelic Geek is coming in. This is a pure six road road dog is legal. I don't know which one of the Canadians are legal. Oh no, what is this? They're, this bringing, one. they're bringing in a table, Ricky Yamamoto. This uh, was not part of the Canadian rules. Here comes Eric Freedom. You got to stop him. Top rope. This crowd is going electric. Oh my. The hardcore hippie has won it for his team. I can't even hear myself think and so loud. The fans are going crazy. 